Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and today is February 7th, 2019. Another week, another Thursday, and you know what that means. It's time for the Bungie Weekly Blog, This Week at Bungie. And this one is going to be all about, well, some future jumping changes for Titans, as well as the return of the Valentine's Day special event, Crimson Days. And indeed, that's where things start out this week. Crimson Days will be returning next week on February 12th and going until February 19th. This is a special Crucible event that's going to reintroduce the Crimson Doubles game mode, a 2v2 game mode with a pretty heavy focus on standing next to your fire team member. As a quick rundown of the event, basically in PvP, it's going to be 2v2. You're going to want to stand near your partner. When you do, you get a special buff that supercharges your cooldown, so you'll be getting your abilities back much faster. If you separate too far from your partner, you're going to start showing up on the enemy's HUD, so they'll be able to locate you really, really quickly. It's a game mode that's all about pairing up with your partner, and this time around, it's going to bring some old rewards and some brand new stuff. In addition to all of the awards that were available previously in the event held last year, we're also going to be getting a brand new legendary bow titled The Vow. This is going to be a reward that's similar to the horror story from the Festival of the Lost. It'll be a legendary bow that anyone who owns Destiny 2 is going to have access to, whether you own Forsaken or not. You'll be able to get it from Lord Shaxx by trading in Confectionary Hearts, which you get for completing Crimson Doubles matches. Interesting to note, again, is that this is a bow that will be available to everyone who plays Destiny 2, whether you own Forsaken or not. But if you do own Forsaken, this bow is going to come at a whopping 650 power. And like I said before, there will also be a ton of ornaments and emotes that you'll be able to earn alongside this event via the return of the Crimson Engrams, which you'll be earning alongside Bright Engrams or whatever they're called now, to get special Crimson Doubles rewards from Eververse. Bungie actually put out a full article further covering the Crimson Days that we'll be going over in another video. But moving on, we're also getting a brand new Crimson Days Bungie Bounty. This is going to be happening on Thursday, February 14th. From 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Time, you'll be able to hop into the Crucible on the PlayStation 4 and have a chance at coming up against some of the Bungie community managers. If you can find them and take them down, you'll be able to claim a Sign of Mutual Combat emblem, which is, of course, exclusive to that event. I always enjoyed the Crimson Double sort of playlist. I think it's going to be radically different this time around with the change in weapon system and, of course, the new sandbox that we're in right now. So I imagine it's probably going to be quite a bit more hectic than it was this time last year but I'm happy to see it come back all the same. Although, I'd be lying if I didn't say I missed the crazy super-powered version of the event that we had back in Destiny 1. But anyways, moving on, we have got some incoming changes to the way you're going to be moving around as a Titan on PC. Many of you are, of course, no doubt aware of the fact that via the use of macros and some other things, you can actually move really, really quickly with Titans in a form of skating similar to what we had back in Destiny 1. And of course, many of you know that Bungie made a statement on that quite some time back, basically saying they were trying to figure out how they were going to address this movement speed. Of course, nerfing it without destroying the lift ability. Well, we're finally learning more about what's going to be happening with the Titan Skate on PC. Here's what they had to say. Later this month, we are fixing an issue with the Titan Lift ability that currently allows players, with the use of unconventional inputs, key binding to mouse scroll wheel, macros, etc., to reach extremely excessive movement speeds. It will still be possible to maximize your lift speed by skillfully timing your lift activation inputs to boost your overall momentum. In other words, Titan skating is still possible, just less excessive. Some of you may be asking why this is being addressed. Players utilizing these unconventional methods are effectively able to exceed the bounds of expected Guardian movement speed so drastically that it creates an unfair advantage when it comes to the fundamentals of combat gameplay like aiming, positioning, or even networking to some degree. We understand that many players value and enjoy this behavior as a core part of their overall skill set and identity of the Titan class. However, we'd rather continue to build on the Titan identity and fantasy of being fast-moving, aggressive, jetpack warrior by continuing to build new, fully supported abilities. Our goal is to create abilities that are fun, effective, and skillful without requiring special hardware or macros to access them. Players who do not use macros should not feel any difference once this change is deployed. This strictly addresses lift acceleration issues on PC. Players who don't utilize unconventional input methods should feel no difference. So there you go. I just wanted to read their statement in full to let you guys know exactly what they're going to be doing with Titans moving forward. Of course, 
Titan skating is uh, it's, it's kind of an interesting topic out there in the world of Destiny 2 right now. I won't spend too much time on it, but you could move really, really, really quickly with the macros and the, the mouse scroll wheel tactics you could use on PC. And when you run into it, it does make a rather frustrating foe in the Crucible. And a lot of people, to be fair, have been complaining about it for quite some time. I am bummed that another movement option is kind of being removed per se, though they do say you can still Titan Skate. We'll have to see exactly what they mean by that when this update goes into effect. But um, this is a change that we knew was coming for quite some time. And thankfully, it's something that's only going to affect the PC platform because you really couldn't do this on console. But it really kind of just comes back to me as being like, we had a fantastic movement system in D1 with Titan Skating that everybody could perform, with Warlock Surfing and Hunter Quad Jumping, or whatever you want to call it for that class. I still don't understand why exactly they removed some of those movement options in the transfer to Destiny 2. And it's always going to suck when you have something that you can do in a game and then that ability gets taken away. But like I said, we knew it was coming, so it's really not too big of a surprise here. Enjoy your Titan skating macros on PC for a little while longer, because later this month, they are getting bopped. But alright, moving on. Next up, we've got the Destiny Comic Collection Volume 1. Coming this summer, you'll be able to pick up the Destiny Comic Collection. It's going to be a collection of some of the comic book stories they've been putting out over the past year or so. These stories cover the history of multiple Destiny characters, including Osiris as well as Anna Bray. And this comic collection is going to come with never-before-seen stories, behind-the-scenes galleries, and even some exclusive content from featured artists. And then, later this year in fall, we're getting Destiny Grimoire Anthology Volume 2. You'll remember that Volume 1 of the anthology launched sometime last year. It's a hard book cover of the Grimoire lore from Destiny. If you're one of the lore masters out there who always wish that we could have a physical copy of the stories of Destiny, it was a dream come true, and I'm happy that we're going to be getting Volume 2 sometime later this year. Keep an eye out for that. And that, Guardians, is pretty much it for the biggest bits of news contained within the Bungie Weekly Update this week at Bungie. This one's all about Crimson Days, which is going to be starting once again next week, Tuesday, February 12th, and going until the 19th. So make sure you Guardians whip up a partner and head off into the Crucible. You've got a bow, some ornaments, some emotes, and even more to earn. We are now less than one month away from the launch of Joker's Wild, the next bit of annual pass content. So I am expecting that we'll be hearing more about that coming very, very soon. So make sure you Guardians are keeping your ears open and staying tuned right here on the channel. We will have the latest bits of news on all of that coming out. But that's going to be it for this one, Guardians. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.